once in a while I get really excited about a project, especially when it works out better than I hoped. So this is the oscillating drill powered spindle sander that I've been talking about a little bit. If you're on my Facebook or if you watched uh, Brain Pick with Bob Claggett, I talked about this a little bit. And this is it. Um, you know, keep in mind this is pretty rough yet. I worked on it a little bit last night um, and then I finished it up here this afternoon. I haven't had a whole lot of time to do it. so. This is a pretty rough version of it, but it's definitely good enough for testing. I tested it. It works awesome. Check it out. This is how I put it together. What you're looking at here is a basic planetary drive. I have a sun gear in the middle. I've got a ring gear on the outside. And if you'll imagine this in the horizontal position, there's a shaft going through the back of this. And I've got my drill attached to it right now. But in the application we're talking about, that shaft coming out the back would be fastened to a right angle gear driven by the spindle shaft or the main shaft. Now by adding a couple planetary gears, or excuse, planet drives, planet gears, let me get it right to this, and then cutting a second ring gear with a few more teeth than the bottom ring gear, I can get some extremely significant speed reductions. And the way this would work, this would, the bottom ring gear would be attached to the device, the top ring gear would be free-floating, and it would have a bearing protruding through that would ride in a Scottish yoke or a groove, basically. So as this turned, that bearing would ride in a slot that would lift the mechanism up and pull it down. And you can get some pretty significant speed reductions. If you'll watch the center sun gear, you'll see how fast it's moving in comparison to the outside ring gear. So that would really give us a significant speed reduction and it would have plenty of torque to lift the housing up and down to uh, create the oscillation motion. But ultimately it's a bit complex and for the average person to build this in their garage out of something other than wood, I don't think wood would work, it would wear out quickly, I think it would be just a bit too difficult. So by using a simple worm drive with a spur gear, we can get those really significant speed reductions, have enough torque to lift our system, and make this whole thing come together. Alright, so this is the assembly so far. Um, I know for some of you this might look a little intimidating, especially if you're just getting into woodworking or have never done any work with metal, but this is really simple. And um, when I do the build video, I'll make sure to include uh, links to all this stuff. These bearings were purchased off of eBay. Um, some other ones are available on Amazon. Uh, these have bushings on them. You don't necessarily have to have the bushings. These are just what I had. And I've got a couple little bronze bushings on here as spacers. So the housing will, will fit over the top of these. And then um, on this half inch rod I got from the big box store, I just drilled out and ran a threaded um, 1024 through there. And I cut this out on my skill saw lathe. and put a groove in the bottom of it so that corresponds. A little tap over the top and a bolt holds the um, spindle in place so I'll be able to very easily change out spindles. I'll just get some sandpaper wrapped around here later for the test. And then on my spur gear I've got a little, another little bronze bushing. This is a, called a short bushing or a flange bushing. And then some bearings. Uh, these are just radial bearings but because this isn't going to be high speed it doesn't really matter. So all I've done is to attach a disc to the spur drive and it's underneath there and then I have some bearings coming out of that disc that ride in this track. And then this is it, that's how it works. Oh, that was fun. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I will be doing a follow-up on this. 
and I'll do a little bit more detailed instruction on how it went together by taking it apart. And uh, you get to see how kind of all that inside stuff works. So thank you very much again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We do a lot of fun stuff here.